Hello, Corey here from the Box Scholar channel. Thank you for joining me today. I have a very interesting video to show you, and that is a sample Skype piano lesson with one of my students, Kay Chef, uh, who is nine years old and lives in England. Uh, before we do that, I want to show you my setup here that I use for teaching. At the present moment, I have uh, students all over the world, from Sweden to Australia to Asia, and on all corners of the globe, I have taught people, students of all ages and all levels, piano. Simply with my piano and these two tripods and the Skype connection. And uh, there's nothing that I can't do on Skype that most teachers can do live. So it really is um, a very valuable tool. And let me show you how this works. This is one tripod here which has a Skype camera that beams down right here on the top of my fingers so we can work on fingerings and the student can see that right on. The other tripod here has a Skype camera and it's a side view here so I can speak to the student here and have eye contact and at the same time they have direct line of sight to my keyboard here and then I can toggle between these two so I can use either one of these views and then my computer screen here shows the student here with a large view so I can see them, I can see every finger they put on the key if they have a good uh, view with their Skype camera and then these panels right here I, have, I can see myself in either this view or this view here, the overhead view uh, I really enjoy teaching Skype and really almost enjoy it more than live lessons because of all the great tools I have here, you know, the overhead view and the side view and um, there, once again, as I said before, there's nothing I can't do on Skype that um, most teachers can do live. So um, without any further ado, I'd like you to view a sample lesson with uh, my student Keshef from England. Have a nice day. Hello. Hi, Keshef. How are you? Great. Are you ready for a nice lesson today? Yes. Great. Now, I want to I want to see how your scales are doing. Can you play um, and don't play them too fast, remember? Okay, Let, I want to go just play the C major scale in thirds. We're going to do first thirds. Like that. And then make sure you get your fingers right. And then we'll do sixths. right finger in, okay? Speed up too much, you're getting faster. 
just keep it keep it a little slower so we can get it really even and get the fingering perfect okay okay oh but let's do now e let's do c melodic minor in thirds Let's do harmonic minor in sixths. Okay, like that. Right, now let's do melodic minor in sixth. Yeah, did you get the fingering right on that? Um, let's try it again, just to make sure. Let's do tenths. We're going to do C harmonic minor and tenths. Now melodic minor and tenths. and then both C minors, and then also C sharp, or D flat major, and both C sharp minors, okay? We won't do that now, but what I want you to do now is just the, um, do the uh, broken chord exercise with C, with major, and then minor, and that one, and then go into minor, and then the dominant seventh, and then diminished seventh. And try to keep the beat all the same, not too fast. Now, 
um, Opus 740 number 4, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play just a little bit of it here for you. So about that speed, okay? Oh, oh, oh. was that faster than mine? Yes. <laughs> Good. Thank you. 
Okay, bye, Keshav.